so it's even. Uh, or winning. Mario. Oh, it's winning. Yes. Oh, word. Okay, cool. Well, either way, we've got Fox coming out to play. And we saw a little bit of the Fox earlier on stream as well. But Komidori has been a woman of many characters here tonight. And uh, we've seen at least three. And the Fox is the game one pick against Squid Punter Belmont. Yeah, I, I mean, Squid knows his matchup. Uh, courtesy of ZD just playing constantly against him for quite some time. So I'm curious as to what flair Komidori is going to show in this one. She definitely has a flair for the dramatic, as we saw in the match against Smub. But the question is going to be, like, what X Factor does your Fox have? For real. Um, and so far, we get the damage in the early game. But that's Fox. Um, I definitely expect uh, you to be at about 100%. It's the kill options that we're starting to come up a little bit short on. Komidori missing out the opportunity for a down smash on a roll out. Squid Palmer evades. Now we have an edge guard opportunity, and we all know how easy it is to edge guard a spacey, particularly Fox. That was actually kind of sick, though. You talk about how easy it is to edge guard, but Komidori didn't make it look easy right there. She was dancing off stage and then continuing to beat on stage, but a little bit greedy with that combo and Squid Plumber making her pay with the upbeat out of disadvantage. Please, that combo ain't true, though. Yeah, it's definitely not. Still, we get the flank on the returning cross, which means Squid Plumber gets an easy shot. Taking a little bit more damage on Komidori. This is even, but with a character like Fox, well, really, both of these characters die very early, but for different reasons. Yeah, Fox dies very early because just get the character off stage and they die. Richter dies very early because Fox has good buttons, as we see right there. What a confirm, by the way. Right. And, I mean, Fox a little bit of a glass cannon, you know, super light character, but does have the kill power to do some damage. Uh, and right now we are avoiding the F smash. Good plumber a little bit half-baked on that option. Now Komidori forced off with this down tilt. I will say that's something that Squid Plumber's been getting a, quite a bit of leverage off of tonight. That up tilt, or down tilt rather, both the single hit and the follow-up has been very good. Very true, a new wrinkle in the game plan, perhaps. Okay, and we still have Squid Plumber trying to catch some of these conversions on platform. Good Nair, but uh, it feels like some of these planks are starting to come up Komidori's way, regardless of uh, how much end lag or, or hit, hit lag it puts her. Oh, actually just holding on to the grab. Very, very intelligent right there. Trying to use the grab armor to intercept that projectile. Just not having to deal with it. Yeah, rapid jab there in the corner at the platform. Just hit that A button and dare him try to roll out of it. Roll in. Okay. She's looking tough. Gets out of another one of those holy water setups. But we don't see her go for anything really aggressive. Uh, that's interesting. So I think right there we saw Squid Plumber selling out on the idea of Komidori air dodging out of the uh, Holy Water. But the problem is Vox falls too fast for that nonsense. Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's a unique situation that only Fox can really provide you. You know, he is uh, so quick to get back to the ground. Um, and Komidori, she's doing the right thing of finding herself in the right position. Um, her spacing with Fox was really good. I would say seems like one of her stronger characters. We just haven't seen too much of it. Instead, we're getting the Roy right here. So continuing with this rotation going, okay. adding a little bit of Fire Emblem, perhaps a little bit of a larger disjoint in that situation. And the Fox did fairly well. Yeah. Get, I mean, to walk away with a win and menu change, that's always an interesting change up here. Get, hit him with the Proto. She did it uh, again, I think, in, a, in one of the winner's side sets. Um, I did see her change and play Fox on game one, then swap in a win, and then like lost with Mario or something. But like here, we are going with another rushdown character. This is going to be kind of similar. It's just you have a, a disjoint that sometimes you don't want to hit the, the sour spot with because then it kind of ruins your plan. Hitting away at that shield, chopping this Belmont to pieces, perhaps, but great recovery from Squid Plumber, just recognizing that was the weak hit, so you were easily able to DI and not feel pressure in that situation. In addition, up being out of shield for solid damage, but the platform drops from Komidori. Nice little wrinkle in this Roy's game plan. Ooh, didn't expect the cross up. Komidori is able to, uh, to mix up Squid Plumber, keep herself evasive. It's a jab, but we don't see the back air. Uh, no conversion, so no kill. Instead, we hit with the wet pool noodle on the up air, a little bit too far away in that position. Exactly. Okay, yep, the run back, F tilt again. Good we're just going to stick with what works. Forward tilt again, getting full stage control here. Gomidori forced into an awkward spot, and the down smash does catch, but does not quite kill. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Gomidori landed appropriately in the corner, but uh, looked like trying to walk forward a bit. Try to walk forward a bit, maybe just try to get back away from the ledge, make sure you're not grabbing ledge or something like that. But from downtown, Squid Plumber is able to throw that all the way across the stage and make sure he's able to convert off of it. 
at that distance as well. You get a big conversion into F Smash, but with a jump used, Squid Plumber makes it back. And makes it back and seizes control yet again. Amidori trying to go ahead and get something going with an air intercept in addition. Just still toss out those hitbox, but overextends a little bit on the dash grab, and that is big damage from Squid right here. Double jump is gone, but Squid was going for something fancy with that down air instead. Well, we managed to keep this going, though. I mean, it's not over yet, but Squid overshoots the ledge, you goofy kid, I swear. A little bit too much of a fastball right there. Cooking too much for his own good. Certainly. But, you know, he did he did what he thought he had to do, which was just go back, grab ledge. Not a bad idea, just you gotta make sure you actually grab the ledge, buddy. Okay, and look at all this damage, this conversion. I mean, this is starting to look really bad. You go for the high recovery and you're still taking damage. You get the forward throw set back, the bad angle for a character like Roy. Oh, air dodging through, so it doesn't actually activate the holy water, but still. Austin Gomidori off stage yet again pinned to this corner. Squid Plumber's aggression intercepted by the wet pool noodle again on the forward air in that spot. So now we've all seen what Roy can do in these situations. We just need some kind of ledge pressure and set up a side B situation. But instead, it's Squid not at all going to allow Gomidori a single iota of space to start some kind of aggression going. Yeah, the jumps over ledge, the try, like the attempts at bypassing the ledge guard situations. I understand it's tempting against the Belmont, but you know that's the condition. They want you to get uh, like feel of that false, false sense of security. Like, okay, if I just jump over all of the setups, I won't get hit by them. And he's like, well, I've got an aerial whip that can hit you from ten feet away. So you tell me. It's just to smack him with a yardstick. Like, in that spot, it just, what do you actually do? Wet pool noodle versus yardstick. Who shall win? Exactly. So, back on the Fox. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't really feel like Roy's the reason why Komidori lost that one, but I do feel like that there was less zone-breaking potential. Like, that is Fox's bread and butter, and uh, Komidori piloting the character to its absolute utmost in that match. Right. We were also falling out of a lot of uh, squid stuff in game number one that allowed you to survive at higher percents and allowed you like more uh, more opportunities to, to, to reset to neutral, basically. Um, now we'll have to see if we can continue. Also, banger alert. Also, back air alert. Good God. Yes, on both. Now, I'm sitting there like just bobbing my head around to the music for a little bit, and Squid Plumber says, oh, about to go ahead and start up the chorus. Let me show you what I got. Ooh, no tag when we get the catch on the roll, and the F tilt is the easy option. Jump for, jump onto platform and then dare through. That okay. was so sick, That's actually. That's actually a good mix-up. I respect that. Awkward angle right here, and uh, Squid Plumber doesn't have the resource to make it back. Yep. Then the up immediately. The That's the hardest hold buffer I've ever seen. Yes. It's like, okay, well, that's crazy. He's just, hold, he's just mashing it. <laughs> exactly. Like, I want it, I want it, let me do it. Not now, though. Okay, and we get a dash attack. Look at all this damage. This is the Fox combos I expect. Good bundies. I never compliment a Fox. Oh, okay. <laughs> These buttons are too good. I mean, she, she played other than characters other than the Fox. Yeah, I know, not, I know. Yeah, you know. But the Fox bundies, though? They this character, good. it's dash attack there, dash attack there. But it's good. You have yeah, to, know, you have to play at a high APM. So I know, I, I know. It. I'm just, I'm just razzing the Fox players. I can't press buttons <laughs> that fast. I'll tell you that. Pac-Man main. You don't have to pass buttons. You're right. Um, but <laughs> the uh, illusion on shield will not cross up. So Squid Plumber gets an easy punish out of shield on that one. Takes a stock for it. Oh no, this is a this is the bad space right there. When you are stuck in the corner at low percentages, Fox. Uh -oh. When everything the Squid has combos into itself. Oh, but somehow the reversal right there. <gasps> A blind spot in Squid Plumber's hitboxes. How did Commodore find that? I don't know. Fox is kind of small, and maybe that kind of lends itself to, to getting past the linear hitboxes that Squid Plumber often throws out. She was just able to space herself really well, so. She just better sometimes. I guess so. Skill issue. Up tilt, can't get a conversion, you get something else here. The up B, get off me. Neutral air into forward smash there. That is definitely not true. Nice little mix up from Commodore. He's selling out for the forward smash, but then. The illusion very nearly cost and Gomidori the game instead. Squid Plumber has an opportunity here, but Gomidori a little bit of a mix up, lots of movements. She is kind of is dancing in and out of Squid Plumber's hitboxes. I actually just forgot that Fox had a reflector the entire time. <laughs> that's the first time we've seen it. It just been stalled, that's it. And no stalling here. Squid Plumber is going to take us straight into game four. Just the max distance illusion still not far enough away to flee from this yardstick that Richter is swinging. That is so true. Well, 
I don't know. Uh, I would say Komidori. Do we stay on? Do we stay on the Fox now? Uh, rotation Mario. Oh, yep. Do it. We're bringing in the Mario. Honestly, I hate this matchup, despite the fact that uh, the Mario main stick this is winning. It, oh. ju it just feels like, yeah, if you put them in disadvantage, you win. But like that's every character with Mario. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to put uh, Squid Plumber specifically in a disadvantage. Sure. Okay, so Town and City, long stage. This is not where I would expect Mario to go. Yeah, However, I figured PS2 perhaps, but... PS2, Battlefield. To be honest, I mean, I, I've talked to Mario players who think that Final D is a very good stage for Mario. I can kind of see it. Yeah, that's, a, that's the Denobro pick. That is the Denobro pick, yeah. Okay, we get the down air. Nice nice little hit, but no conversion. Turnaround uh, grab a little late, and that's the thing. It's, it's a little bit more laggy than you need in this situation. Good parry, but yeah, that forward smash was a big commitment. Forward tilt might have worked out, but definitely not the smash. That up smash might have worked. At 123, though, not quite going to die off the top to that up B instead. Has to go ahead and get full hop approaches with the fireball. It's an interesting gambit right there for Komodori to try. Instead, fighting through those hitboxes, but finally Squid Plumber lands the back air. The Plumber has been staying on Komidori uh, very frequently in these games. I mean, he's been pretty relentless in keeping her just at his threat distance. I am rooting for these forward smashes, though. That is definitely the move. Because sure. at this percentage, it will definitely kill this character. The problem is, you kind of got to get a good read here. Right, but back. Okay, there we go. That's the that's the gimmick. You yep. know, you send him off with the flood and then go out easy hit with the with the uh, the cape. Take him to the car wash. Exactly. Down air, up air, solid damage here. B and B's from Mario at low percentage, and I love Squid's use of the aggressive up B's too. Just catching Mario trying to get these full hop approach options. I'm mad that that worked. We missed the first up air, but the second connects. Uh, you know what? I mean, I I respect the commitment to the bit. Like that's <laughs> the kind of stuff that you need because this is gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely finding yourself in an awkward spot dying to that uh, holy water hitbox. But, yeah. but I mean, yeah, sure, just just do the Mario yet one more time. That's yeah. all we need. And I think that that's what she's been able to do with Mario consistently throughout the night is getting some of those really ama amazing advantage states that can carry you entire stocks and games. Double neutral air. Oh, we're going off the top, Skadoosh? aren't we? Skadoosh? No, we're not going to do Expended it. Expended the double jump a little bit too late, look, or too early, rather, it looked like. Looking for it too. Okay, we've got more pressure mounting. The plumber taking the no. back air on shield, but got greedy, and the forward smash is his fate. Nerf, this is the third straight game five in a row that we've had. These matches, time and time again, uh, players are pushed to the brutal, bleeding edge of their skill set. Squid Plumber had to take a minute afterwards to shake off his hands, and I don't blame him. Squid has been living on the edge all evening. Yeah, pretty much. And I might be $5 poorer <laughs> today after the bet we made. If, yeah, exactly. At the beginning of this uh, of this evening, we, we made a bet about whether or not we were going to make it out here before midnight. And since then, it's been all game fives. Everything's coming up scabs tonight. I guess so. But <laughs> we still only have one more set after this, potentially two. If there, is a, if there is a reset, I lose. <laughs> but this is only game five. At most, we're going to be like four minutes Render. into this game and it'll end. Uh, timeout. Let's go. I want to see the first Fox timeout I've ever seen. Let's not, <laughs> let's not try to go crazy. Just I want to speak this one into existence. We are gonna go. Wait, no, we are gonna go Mario. Okay, okay yeah. So we are gonna go Mario. No Fox. Um, Mario seems to be the play here. It, it's working, and those advanced states, if you make them more frequent, it's an easy win. True. But Squid Plumber is gonna be, uh, I think, a, a big tough nut. To crack. True, though I will say a moment of trepidation from Komidori choosing which character that she was going to pick for this last one. This is also the first time this set that we've seen, I believe, two, the character same time twice in a row. Maybe. Yeah, I'd have to think about it. There was a lot of characters. Yeah, it was like Fox Roy, really Fox know. Mario. In this Mario. set, yeah, in this set, yes, for sure. I don't know. If there were some previous sets she might have gone the same character twice, but I don't remember. As of right now, doesn't matter. All that matters Greater is dodge. Mario because you're looking for the forward smash and the roll out is just enough to save Squid Plumber's life. But boy, that was close. And holy 
water yet again. That's twice in a row where the up B has not been interacting favorably with that projectile, giving Squid a solid lead here and not really at the highest of percentages. Does get the back air, but again, these disadvantageous spots, these little things here. Squid DI's away and then doesn't toss out the air dodge immediately because he knows that RER back air will set up another string there for Komidori. Correct. And the down air to get yourself back to center stage might not be the play here because Komidori is just not acting, just being extremely patient and not showing your hand. Just going to wait with the right options and react. Up smash, though, the anti-air extraordinaire from Mario. Has to go ahead and get the spot dodge as well directly thereafter, but enough in bolt to not make too much out of it. And that combo ain't true sometimes. Yeah, definitely. But we're going to go for it anyway, because why not? Oh, actually being able to catch that, uh, that lingering hit of the, uh, the dash attack with the get up attack. Now Scoop Lumber managing to beat back Komidori just a little bit farther from the ledge. We've got the potential to force this air dodge and get something for it. Great four tilt at the end of that, but not quite getting the tech roll is Komidori. She's in an awkward spot here at high percentages. It is one hit will steal the sock, but who's going to get that one hit first? Well, since uh, Scoop Lumber setting up on the ledge, it looks like it will be in, but it's not enough to get the kill, and finally we do. Uh, it's just an extended edge guard, and Komidori falls yet again to the traps. This is the sweet spot for Mario, though. Mario wants you, like, around 35-40 to get the instant death combo. So watch out, Squid. You know what to look out for, too. True. Okay, we get the turnaround now. Up Air City, we get a little bit of a boop, and uh, Squid Plumber fights his way out. Back air not going to lead to anything again as Squid recovers a little bit high in that spot. Good recognition of the dangerous position you find yourself in. Now, full stage control for Squid. Force out the double jump, gets the back air in addition. Another oh. double jump, but can't get the dash grab and only one into the jab. Oh What's Squid God. doing there? I, I, I think the jab check was smart because it can force Komidori to like jump or something. But as long as we're able to get our consistent down air, Squid Plumber will close it out yet again in game five. Clutch moment after clutch moment as Squid Plumber continues this perilous run through losers. Yeah, you said it yourself. He is living on the edge. He just like likes a little bit of excitement here and there. Uh, and this is really getting the heart beating on all sides. So Oh, yeah. Good stuff. We'll have to see if in grand finals, can he put Smug to the test? Twice. Or, yes, or will he simply get Smug? Hold up, so I I'm looking over like Squid Plumber's run. So in winner's quarters, Squid Plumber 3-1 over Bo. Winner's semis, 3-2, Squid Plumber lost to Komidori. Game five. Game five. Goes to losers, fights Pink Fresh 3-1, and then 3-2, again, 3-2 over K-Bean, 3-2 over Kom Komidori. And it was the run back. It was the run back, exactly. Game five, that is back. That is brutal. I mean, in, in the winner's side set, uh, he lost it to Komidori because she was able to get one of those up air, up air, forward mm -hmm. off stage, and I mean he fell a victim to the classic, classic 